guys, welcome to June Favorites. I don't have a long list, but I'm very excited about what I have to share with you, and I have a lot of exciting news about my YouTube channel too. So let's start with the news and then talk about some products. The news is, let's make it official, daily vlogs are coming to an end, or at least a summer break. The whole family needs a little bit of some downtime, not in front of the camera 24 seven. So I will, today is June, the day this goes up is June 30th. That will be the last day that I film. You'll still get videos through, you know, the next week that I've already filmed. But filming day stops June 30th. But don't worry, I think two videos a week still aren't enough for you and me to hang out together. So starting on, so starting on Monday, July 6th, there will be a new week. So starting on Monday, July 6th, there will be a new weekly feature on Mondays called Marnie and Michael Mondays. And I have convinced Michael to appear on a video with me every Monday morning, and we will just talk about different topics that you find interesting. Parenting tips, budgeting tips, house tips, home tips, car tips, golf tips, whatever kinds of topics that you want to hear about or you might be interested in, um, we're here to tackle them and talk a little bit. And it's not a preaching to you, this is how you should do it. It's here's what we've tried, here's what's worked for us, here's what has miserably failed, don't make the mistakes that we have um, kind of thing. So let me know if you're interested in that. We are really excited to bring that to you. And then I will continue to also upload, I'm gonna bump it to Wednesdays and Fridays. So at least three days a week, you're gonna be hearing and seeing from me so hope that won't be too too sad for some of you I'm excited about the new lineup anyway now let's talk about products so let's start with the non makeup items and we'll just roll on into the goodies so I have been really getting into accessories again lately and there are a few that I wanted to share with you uh, these have all been featured heavily in my vlogs because it's what I wear in real life every day Firstly, let's talk about these. These are the Kendra Scott Darcy earrings. Now, you cannot specifically get these ready to go online from Kendra Scott. I actually made these in the color bar. Color bar is a somewhat new option that you can do at Kendra Scott. Pretty much all of their jewelry is customizable now when you go online, or you can do it in store. And what you do is you pick the, I picked an earring, and then I picked the Darcy shape, and then I picked what stone I wanted in here, and what stone I wanted in here, and whether it was in the gold, um, metal, silver, what have you. So this is the mother of pearl for the main earring, and then this is the iridescent jersey stone for the top. But you can do any color combination that you want, and I've been loving that. The other Kendra Scott piece I picked up in the Nordstrom, it's at the half yearly sale. I picked up two of these. It's the Arden Station Cuff, and this is the one in silver. I also have it in rose gold, and I want to pick up the one in regular gold. There are a few other colors out there as well, I have found out, so I might have to get all of them because they wear very nicely by themselves or stacked up or against my watch as well, so I'm really enjoying those. A couple of purchases that I made from Bobble Bar that I want to talk about this month that I've been wearing a lot. The most recently are these, the set of bangles. This is the phased out bangle set. The thing with bangles is I don't like to spend too much money on them because no matter how good they are, they end up getting tarnished and what have you and you need to replace them every couple of years. But I saw these, Makeup by Tiffany D was wearing them in one of her videos and I was entranced. Um, they come in a set of two. One is a bunch of stars all the way across and then the other one is, a, is the phases of the moon. They go from, you know, like the new moon to I guess a full moon kind of concept. And they're really fun. They are oval shaped, not round, which I really like because they rest better against your wrist when you're writing or resting your hand on a surface. It doesn't clank around so much. And what I really like is the hinges so that you don't have to contort yourself to get in and out of the bangles. So I really like those. The other, my other favorite piece that I got from Bobble Bar this month is a new pair of earrings that they sent to me. I was wearing them throughout the month of June, but they've just recently come up on the website. And these are the, ooh, I can't remember the exact name of these. What are these called? I can't remember the exact name of these. I'll put the name of it in the description box below as I always do and link everything. What I really like about these is that the um, they're very delicate, they're dainty, they're wearable with everything, but you can all, you'll never lose the back of the earring. The earring back is connected by a little chain that dangles you know, off the bottom of the main post and then just wraps around to the back. So when I travel or when I throw these on my nightstand after a day of wearing them, I know I'm not gonna lose the backing because how many of you have lost the back to your earring? I have lost many, many, many of them. All right, let's talk about makeup. So star of June has to be the It Cosmetics CC Cream, Your Skin But Better. Um, 
I never thought I would like this. I had written this off when I first started wearing it. You've heard me talk about it in the It Cosmetics review. Suffice it to say, I've been wearing it almost nonstop every day. I love that I have it in a couple of shades because as my skin goes from self-tan to not self-tan, I can go back and forth. I go back and forth between the light shade, which is what um, I have here, and then the medium shade from when I'm for when I am really tan. I need to add that as a qualifier. Um, I love that it has an SPF 50 on here so I don't have to worry about adding another layer of sunscreen protection. It's great to skip a step in the morning and not use moisturizer. The one caveat I will say I've noticed when wearing this for prolonged days in a row is I do have dry skin and my skin does get noticeably drier if I'm wearing this several days in a row. So I just go a little heavier on the night moisturizer. I've been using my Colleen Rothschild Extreme Recovery Cream at night and that seems to balance it all out. But this is a lifesaver for the summertime. A product that was highly recommended by many of you and I'm glad that I listened was the Wet n Wild Fergie Eyeshadow Primer. It's it's in a squeezy tube, it's easy to get out, it dries to a powder finish, it's sort of an opaque skin color finish, my skin color I should add, and my, the colors just pop when I put it on top. It's a great primer, it works like it's supposed to, and I think it's $4.99 at the drugstore, so I'm thrilled to death that I listened to you guys and picked that up. Another recommendation that I got from you is when Tarte sent me all the blushes that I still need to do a review on, I know it's coming, I had shown you this one, Natural Beauty, and thought there's no way that I will wear this. Well, one of you suggested just put it on with a light hand and it leaves a beautiful, glowy flush to the skin, very natural, hence the name Natural Beauty, and you were right. Of course, I'm not wearing it today, but I've been wearing it pretty much every day for the month of June. I love this blush. Uh, those of you who met me in Dallas, that's the blush that I had on when you saw me, and it looks great with a summer tan for sure, but it also looks great with my somewhat naturally fair skin as well. It's, I think it'll look like just come in from the cold kind of kissed cheeks in the winter as well. It's a, I'm, I'm really glad I listened to you and didn't write it off because it's easily become my favorite blush, particularly for the month of June. A couple more things I want to talk about. The Naturalized Palette from Hard Candy. This was featured in a tutorial recently. I don't love how thick the packaging is, but other than that, I love this set. I've been wearing this a lot. It's very travel friendly and, you know, I think it was six, either six or nine dollars. It was definitely under ten dollars. This is a great little palette to have for the price. They do have at least one other um, I think they have a smoky eyes palette. That might be it. I'm very excited to go out and try some more hard candy eyeshadows. I will say that the quality of this is as good as anything else I've, I've uh, tried and I'm really, really pleased with the different combinations and, um, and the quality and the pigment. And if you didn't see that video, I will link it around here on one of those card thingies. So be sure to watch that video. And lastly, the last makeup product I want to talk about um, is the It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face. I'm wearing it today, but not to sculpt my face. Actually, I've been reaching a lot for this for eyeshadow, for that kind of natural sculpted look. It's what I have on today. Um, I've done it where I just use one of these middle shades to contour in the crease and then done the shimmery shade on the bottom. This one is the shimmery shade and the, the uh, matte shade on the brow bone and a little eyeliner and I'm out the door. I'm, I can smoke it up, I can flip things around. Today I did a combo of these two in the crease and these two in the outer corner and um, the same kind of concept. I did the shimmery shade all over the bottom and the matte shade on top and it's just, it's easy, especially when you want to pair it with a bright lip. These colors are all very complimentary, but they don't scream, look at my eyes, look at my eyes. They make you look finished without too much going on. And I'm really glad that I'm using it for my eyes. I'm not sure that it was intended to sculpt eyeballs, but it's working for me. And then a couple more random things um, that I've been enjoying for the month of June. Uh, two of my favorite TV shows came back on the air in June, and that is Real Housewives of Orange County and The Real Housewives of New York. Not all of you are fans of the show, and those of you that are, um, we are on definite polar opposites as to whose team we're on. I am not Team Bethany. I'm just putting it out there for all of those of you who are Team Bethany. Good for you. I don't hate her, but not a fan. But I, um, I'm enjoying the, sh the season for both those shows so far. And Michael is on board for Orange County. It's the one Real Housewives show he's always watched with me, but especially this season has two baseball players and their wives on the show. So now he wants to watch just to take a peek at baseball players' lives. 
And then book-wise, I started out loving this series and now I'm kind of over it. It's the Dog Lover Mystery Series by Susan Conant. I've been reading a bunch of those books. There's 20 books in the series. And they start out really well and they're getting about midway through this series kind of boring. So I've, and not available on Kindle. So I've sort of given up on that one, but that is what I've been reading all month. And so I don't have anything else to tell you about as far as books. I just started reading the newest installment from Rita Mae Brown in her Mrs. Murphy Cat Mystery series. That one's getting a little lengthy and preachy as well. So if you have any recommendations for some fun summer reads, please let me know. I am, especially in the summertime, not into anything too mentally challenging. This is my way of escaping either trashy TV or not trashy novels, but just lighthearted. So let me know if you have any recommendations. I always love hearing from you. Well, that's it. That's everything I've got for you. I am so excited for the month of July. I'm excited for my new lineup, so to speak. I'm excited for my new series with Michael, Marty and Michael Mondays. Um, we're gonna have a cute little name for that, but it's m and Mondays, basically. And, um, and there's more stuff to come. So I can't wait to keep you posted. I hope you keep watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I'm walking in to lunch with Karen and our friend Danny and they're talking about Tom's shoes. Um, it's pretty funny. And I told